Okay, the Chinese water dragon. For some reason, people in the Far East, Australia, and throughout the Orient call lizards dragons from the Komodo dragon on down, but there's nothing dragon about it. It's just a lizard. But a lizard's got a very unique habitat. He likes to inhabit areas with streams, running water, and you'll see these animals often stretched out, basking in the sun on a limb over the water. That's where they seem to be really happy. Any kind of uh, trouble comes along in the form of a predator, and the Chinese water dragon dives right into the water and will actually stay under the water quite a bit of time to escape its prey. A really unique way of trying to get away from something that's trying to eat you in nature. It is a uh, little on the insectivore slash carnivorous side in its diet in the wild. It'll eat a variety of things. Gets about three feet in total length. We see them throughout China and some of the islands in Indonesia. Um, and it has now become a very popular animal in the pet trade and largely imported from those areas. Kind of a poor man's iguana, we call it sometimes, because of its inexpensive nature and the fact that although it gets pretty long with this beautiful tail, it's not unmanageably big. The Chinese water dragon from the Orient. Mm -hmm.